Alright, let's continue for Corelogram Graph Analysis. Now, click again on RER Series Data. Okay, once the data appear, go to View. Then, click on Corelogram. Okay, select at Level Form. Let's change to 36 month because this is um this is long data uh no this is only 42 observation as we can see here now the reasonable uh lag is 6 oh no 12 right so click ok so as we as you can see here the data slowly move to the standard deviation area so we can say that the data is not stationary at level form. Now we continue. We doing the same process again. Then we select at first different. As you can see here, the data move to standard deviation area. So we can say that at first different. Yeah, D R E E R means that the data is first different. The data is stationary. Now let's click on RGDP. We try uh, we do the corelogram analysis. Click on level at leg 20 maybe. So as we can see here, uh, the data moves slowly into standard deviation area. Now we change to um, first different, right? Then we here in RGDP means that the data is level 4. Now when we click on for different, it's become DRGDP. As we can see here, the data is already moved to the standard deviation area. So at first different RGDP data, we can say that the data is stationary. So this is how to uh, analyze uh, or to understand the result of Corelogram, whether the variable is stationary or not. So as we can see here, I repeat again. Uh, at level form, when the data is not stationary, it moves slowly into standard deviation area. This, this bound and this bound, as you can see like this. But now, when at, it become at first different, the variable usually become very stationary. Then it moves so fast and stay in the standard deviation area like this. Okay. Now, uh, um, we will continue in the next video. So that's it for Corelogram.